Hey guys, welcome to Adesia Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic, which is how to write a great software testing resume. And I'm going to, in the end, I'm going to review two of the resumes. I'm going to talk about few of the points that I feel personally that can help you to write a better software testing resume. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys. First of all, let me tell you very, very interesting point. We're going to start with this. which is uh, if you see this article especially you have only less than 7 seconds which basically means whenever we look for uh, whenever a person who's taking your interview gets your resume right they only basically see it for 7 seconds and if you have not written some interesting things or the points that they or the keyword they had looking into your resume your resume will get not get highlighted i will not get selected right most of the time that people are asking me so if you see in 2018 eye tracking study say says that it's uh, most of the hrs or they just or the people who are basically uh, selecting your resume they will just skim the resume for 7 seconds it's less than 7 seconds nowadays it's 2018 study but recently uh, it's less than 6 seconds now so why my point is you have to pay attention and the trust me don't make these mistakes that i'm going to talk to you i'm going to discuss okay so some of the point that you have to take care so let's go one by one always 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 go with the one page resume guys which is very very helpful don't go with 2 3 4 if i'm saying resume is basically means uh, curriculum vitae right i i hope we call it cv right uh, both are same most of the time Uh, for me means most of the time people are whenever i say resume or cv they are nearly same uh, go with a standard resume pattern with a twist hook it basically means uh, you can add you can highlight if you have worked somewhere uh, in very big companies right you can highlight them but go with a standard uh, resume templates because if you are making it more funky i've seen people uh, just bolding everything and making it with green color uh, yellow color highlighting and all trust me that makes very weird uh, whenever i look into it very weird i just uh, move to next one right so that's what uh, you can do that humble bragging about qualities uh, this is one of the important thing which you are lacking right now is that whenever you have created your resume make sure you uh, whatever the big things that you have done or the project that you have recently worked on and if they are matching it with the job description make sure you highlight those things right you can brag humble bragging we call it humble bragging about your qualities right if you have a blog which uh, nearly have 2000 3000 visitors per month you can talk about them you have youtube channel you can talk about them you have done some automation work you can talk them about them if you have reduced uh, some of your manual testing efforts by creating some video or creating some scripts you can talk about them so you can do humble bragging okay make sense all right so let's move on to next one which is no claiming for experts it basically means i have seen people are saying that uh, uh, they have written specifically these point like for example java uh, 9 out of 10 they have given some numbers to themselves in the resume right uh, automation 9 out of 10 if you want uh, a selenium 10 uh, 9 out of 10 so don't do that guys there's no one no one is expert uh, even we are learning right don't say that i am expert in selenium i am expert in uh, automation nobody is expert right just tell them that uh, you know with this experience you have worked on this project that's it okay don't write if you don't know no lies this is one of the important point people i have seen people are mentioning api testing and they don't know how to do api testing they don't know what are different http method they don't know if they have tested a rest api or a soap so these kind of things don't write it up if you don't know no right so that's what i'm talking about guys i am totally paying attention i have been into industry for more than 9 plus years and i have taken trust me 2 plus 200 plus interviews and i have seen these mistakes so these are uh, one of the important uh, if uh, means i were you if i know these things before uh, jumping into this career before applying trust me it would have would have, it would have helped me a lot okay so pay attention no cap, copy paste of job description i have seen people right now doing specially uh, in, in india people are just copy pasting the same job description don't do that this is very 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 a big mistake don't do that okay discuss number i am always talk about that uh, you can discuss numbers because numbers are something which will get highlighted whenever we see 
in your resume for example increase automation geography 5% right i want to know more about you right you have introduced docker based uh, ci cd container based something to reduce your time i want to know about it talk about numbers what are the action that you have done right so this is one of the important thing so important things are should be highlighted you can highlight them but don't make it weird clearly i can clearly see what you are doing right now so this is one of the important thing right now if you are working in accenture with seven year experience you can mention that right now i am working in seven year experience the your recently projects uh you can mention them i have seen some resume where people don't mention the currently where they are working on what are the recently project that they have done they don't mention it uh clearly mention like your language tools framework and the company that you have worked on previously right? i want to know more about it you sometimes we look for college info as well as some gps so that's again a point all right review for the resume this is one of the important things so let's jump into it but please i just i'm just telling you a disclaimer guys i'm not an expert i uh, i've just taken up for uh, some of the interviews i would say and i will review two resumes that i got and i have changed the data you can download the resume also uh, they have nearly 3 years or 2 years of experience and uh, let's see let's jump into it i am not an expert i'm just giving you some genuine as that that advice that i think will be helpful all right understood right so let's do, let's do this okay first of all let's jump into this one uh, this is just dummy number dummy name guys this there's no priya sharma <laughs> okay let me make myself little uh, like this only okay okay Uh, first of all see the objective doesn't make sense right aiming to become a dynamic top notch professional providing impeccable solution for any don't write this means nobody has a time if we are skimming interviews we don't want your objective right just make it very simple that i am a software professional looking forward uh, for to do some automation work or a manual testing and want to uh add value to your company very in a very simple manner don't write whatever i have said with a very simple manner just write your very one or two liner object that will be enough if you want to remove it also i'm not sure about it but uh, i have not seen people are still using objectives motor time okay professional summary see this uh well worked with sdlc agile scrum technology good understanding of sdlc process this is a work dot test ng framework again uh mistakes right recently where uh, you are working on they haven't mentioned i think uh, that is not highlighted it's there but it's uh, it's a two page first of all the biggest mistake right uh, two two page don't do that no two page resumes okay project details this should be according to me will be because i want to see your recent work right now and where you are working what are the project project that you have worked on show me that okay education uh, you can make a grid something like so that uh, easy to understand for example you can make a three grid like in your 10 12th and your uh, btech how many percentage how what cgp or percentage that you have got that's it which uh, college you have attended in a very simple line just tell them tell me works uh, technical details uh, defect tool jira only the uh, only probably she has used it only jira java mms or test ng very basic resume uh, of course some of the keyword they have mentioned so that's good project description very long product uh, project and roles, roles and responsibility see roles roles and responsibility this is according to me it's very uh, important point and it should be very crisp and clear and very short uh, for example it can be i was uh, handling this project uh, with this uh, this much number of test cases and i was responsible for uh, adding into test plan creating test for following a particular stlc i can say that right don't make it uh, very clumsy see I, i don't want to read all of them because uh this all the things i'm going to ask you in your real interview okay <laughs> right personal information okay uh, that's fine uh, if, okay uh, all right so that was one resume i hope you have got some mistakes so mistakes are uh, less make it one page uh crips objective show me your recent work your keyword uh, keywords what you are recently working on your cgpas right and uh, what are the technology that you have worked on so i hope that is clear let's move on to second one which is uh, very straight forward i think uh, it's a just a dummy kumar <laughs> dummy kumar don't curse me on that okay uh, your number okay abc email github profiles that's good because you are showing me your github profiles i'm not going to click <laughs> okay uh, linkedin of course you can uh, show me your linkedin right 
three three experience infosys okay that's fine uft uh, okay uh, javascript okay 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 uh, i would say professional summary uh, this is where i got the point that you have worked on some of the testing uh, things right and uh, i really like this one especially where you are just telling that which are the technology that you have worked on language framework defect projects and all really grips to the clear point where what you know what you don't know okay uh, okay and now discussing about the projects uh, you are telling everything about what you have done uh, you are saying that i have created frameworks hybrid framework it was a hybrid framework uh, okay and okay you have done smoke testing some of the other projects blah 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 okay after that your percentage and uh, this is your some details as uh, some dummy comma dummy, 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 right this makes sense a uh, little well words again two page resume uh, you can uh, decrease the length of your uh, projects uh, just uh, to the point crisp and clear right uh, highlight what are the different technologies framework that you have worked on right uh how you have helpful talking numbers which are missing again uh there's see there's no number i don't look for for it if you have said that okay i have increased automation coverage by 10 percent i would have seen it right for example having three years experience okay crisp and clear three years experience that's it if you see no idea how many years experience right mistake okay so, so these are two resumes guys uh, i have quickly done a skimming of these and uh, i hope you have caught some of the points some of the important points to take care link in the description you can check it out one part two one part two of this video type part two in the comment i'll be doing it if you if you want your resume to be get uh, uh, reviewed let me know in the comment also i'll be really happy to do that okay thanks a lot i hope you have got some value from the how to write a great software testing resume some of the important point that i think that can help you all right thanks a lot this is your host promo that uh welcome to the testing academy if you haven't subscribed make sure to do that bell icon please click on it and see you in the next video bye